Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. We left off, we had actually been outside of Owl Temple, I think. And I had just spent some coins on leveling my magic capabilities. We're now back here at the castle in order to see if we leveled up after doing the mines. I don't think we did, but it can't hurt to check. Off screen, I played more Trist and my intelligence is now 35 and the next opponent is the master already it actually is a it's nowhere near as difficult as liar's dice <laughs> so i'm glad for that i haven't lost a single match that i've played so far supply wise you might have seen we have two great we have two swords both of which are great and we have two sets of chainmail now both of which are good so things are looking up for us We have over 6,000 gold in the bank, and 100, as you can see, my current supplies on me as well. Greetings from the wizard Cerevol. The orb tells of a special ring held in the citadel. For some reason unknown to me, it is vital to your success. Oh, maybe that was what I needed. Okay, well, we're here, we'll talk to the prince, and then I suppose we'll head over to the citadel. Oh, we could do the Endurance again. We did lose a single point of Endurance, but I think we'll be okay with 38. We can do the Endurance game again after the Citadel. Okay, so they both have nothing new to tell me. Let's get out of here then. I'll do this on screen. It's, it's so, this, I don't like doing that on screen because it's just, you know, no one wants to see that. But on, the same, on that same note, though, it's much easier for me to compress the files when they're all one file rather than, like, 18 different ones. Okay, two Rut Knights. Sure, I'll go ahead and kill both of you. Oh, we gotta equip our climbing gear. I thought about trying the archery again to get my accuracy maybe to my dex to 31. But then I remembered that I spent about two hours today, an hour and a half, two hours, doing the art, the decks. And no, I just, I don't want to do that, that again. I think I'm done. I think I, I think I fired the bow enough. Shame that no one sells bows, actually. Do they? They don't. Oh, we should stop by every town on the way to the Citadel in case... Flumes. Hello, Flumes. I think these things have the most hit points of the mountain creatures. Even more than the screaming nug. Oh, I think some of these creatures have special attacks as well out here in the world, but I don't remember what they are. Like, what creatures have them. Wow, 190. Nice. That's what you guys get for picking on a, a poor peasant, now adventurer. We might as well stop at all the cities, just in case we find some better weapons. Can't hurt to check. House of Hunk, what do you have? No, no better armor, at least. And that is the bank. That can stay there. Where is the weapon shop in Tuminus? It's been, it's been a long time. I think up here is the magic shop? I think the normal magic shop is up here, isn't it? It is. Um, no, nah, this is, I think, more expensive here. It's hard to tell now that I've increased my spells, my, um, via the coins, because the prices went up. So there's nothing here I want. So let's make a beeline right for the Citadel, then, now. Actually, we should stop by Crystal Summit. We're right here. And see what weapons they have. It's very expensive to purchase weapons here. Very expensive, but whatever. We we kind of need them. Assuming they have like superb superb swords here, it'll still be worth buying it rather than hunting them down in cheaper places. I think that's the marina there. Okay, so let's stop by this place. Then we're finally gonna make it to the Citadel. I got like another 40 minutes before it's bedtime for me. Hello, classic arms. Great chainmail. Okay. 
We will want that. That's better than what we're currently wearing. A great broad axe, right? So that's not better. Oh, by the way, I, we also have another amethyst gem. Just a heads up, I bought it from a merchant. So we can look at the vase of souls. We're done with the citadel. So let's sell a good chainmail. And buy a great chainmail. How much is it, by the way, to buy a great one? It is 479, so we need slightly more than 200 bucks mm -hmm. if we want to buy another. Oh, yeah, we can we can sell the other good chainmail that we picked up from the archive finally and buy another suit of great chainmail. Always carry backups. You'll be glad you did if you ever get attacked and they, something destroys your stuff. You just hit L to leave. That is so useful. I'm glad I remembered to do this. I think in my original playlist of this, I constantly forgot to use the leave option. Hello, peasant. How are you doing? Uh, no. Hmm. So one thing I don't think a lot of DMs or players consider is just the sheer amount of endurance you have to have to walk from place to place or ride horses from place to place. I'm always amazed in all these games that you play, from Baldur's Gate to Legacy of the Ancients to Ultimas and everything, just how much walking there is, and even World of Warcraft, you'd be exhausted, and your feet would, you need like a day or two off your feet in between, in between, um, adventures. Hello, Amazar, how are you? Ah, uh, yes, that's exactly, almost exactly how much gold you had. Let's sail this down to here. Darn you! I had full hit points for Bone Worm. And here we are at the Citadel. We should probably save the game first, just in case something absolutely god awful happens. Although, to be fair, if I die, I'm not going to reload the game. I'm only going to do it for practicing my uh, dexterity. Okay, we're good to go. Let's head on into the Citadel. Draw bridges up, may wish to lower it. We will use our rope and pulley. Insert disc side two. Okay, the guards here have forgotten all about us, so there's no reason for us to worry about them. Condition-wise, we are much better than the last time we went here, with much higher endurance. We actually have some spells, and our strength is slightly higher, as is our dex. We'll have less trouble with the guards downstairs. It's going to be the upstairs guards going to give us trouble. I also... There might be one or two chests that have also refilled, but I don't know if it's worth slaughtering all the guards down here to get access to the one or two chests, since they'll just have gold in them. I think the guards also may go hostile when we open the door up ahead, but we're going to do it anyway. We're here to see the Jester. We should also... Let's check the mage really quick. I don't think he has anything more to sell us. He might, though. It's been, it's been a long time. I think one or two of the people you actually have to come back to multiple times. Let's use our black key. And the guards don't seem to mind. I believe our last dealings cost you some strength. Would you like some back for 3,000 gold? No, thank you. I'll be here. That's amazing. Wow. Good thing I double checked. Okay. We want that five strength back for 3,000 gold. That is totally worth it. Darn it. Wish I knew that was going to happen. I wish I knew that was an option. I'm sure I did years ago, but I forgot all about it. Pays to double check, doesn't it? Uh, the guards still don't seem to mind that we're here. Let's talk to the jester. You've returned the loot for which I did yearn. Now here's a special prize I give in return. There's a magical teleport that shimmers with hue. If you know how to use it, you can simply step through. The password is rainbow, this word you must speak. Onward to destiny, if excitement you seek. 
Okay. Rainbow. Well, I wouldn't have guessed it. I forgot what it was after all these years. Suppose we could, uh, the hero could log on to, uh, to the internet and ask all his followers what the, what the password would have been. Why don't we, oh, why don't we go this way this time? I know, we went the other way last time. I don't actually know what happens if you accidentally step on a colored, on a colored thing, but we're not gonna. Nope. Let's go, Tiles. Might as well get both of them unlocked, just in case. Let me go down here next. I think it's more or less the same as it was in the other side. Might as well keep getting all the squares unlocked. Every one of them is a step closer toward our goal. Well, not really, but some of them are just side steps. Literally a side step. Get it? You're welcome. <laughs> Let's go this way. Again, I'm old. I'm allowed to I'm allowed to make puns like that. I hope. I hope. Where are we going? Going this way. Oh, so close. Darn you. Special magical floor of probably death. What if the different colors do different things to you? Maybe warp you to different rooms that have that that tile? Okay, let's head upstairs. Rainbow apparently consists of only blue and yellow colors. In the secure rooms, next to a small flickering chamber. I don't think the guards will be happy we're up here, but let's take a we'll take a peek anyway. Hello guards. That looks like a door. Can we open it with maybe one of our keys? Not the gold key. Oh, the gold key is for, for the castle anyway. The black key doesn't open it. And our iron key? Nope. Okay, that means we have to open a treasure chest up here somewhere to find it. Lots of animal heads. I guess we can take a look around at first. We might as well get a good feel for this floor. There's some treasure chests all over the place. Apparently, apparently in this world, kings like showing off the fact that they could have a lot of wealth by showcasing all of these golden chests all over the place. I guess this king, or leader, Baron, is doing a lot better than the prince is, given the amount of money we found in these chests. Still, I suppose you have to keep up your appearances, right? Oh, well, hello. This is an elf, it looks like. Can we use one of our keys? No, how about the black key? No, okay. I think we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. 3,000 gold for five strength. That is totally worth it. Darn it. Ah, if I... Would have, we would have done like one or two more points of damage down in that dungeon. We probably don't have the key to any of the doors up here. I wonder why the guards aren't attacking. I guess... Well, we guess we didn't really... Well, we slaughtered all the guards here like a year ago. All of them, which is probably why the guards aren't attacking, honestly. Because they don't actually know it was me who did it. It's been so long. Now, the question I, I have to myself right now is, do I want to use any of the laggard vapors? I think the more of them you use, the more of a chance it is that the enemy is delayed. But I don't think I really need to use them here. They would particularly, they would particularly be useful if we had ranged weapons. But we don't. We have a handful of spells. But keep in mind that since spells cost money in this game, you are literally... Th well, not literally. But it's as if you are throwing gold at the enemies. Oh, hello. This looks like a door we can use our existing keys on. Maybe the iron key? Okay, we're going to slaughter these guards and open a chest. We should start by attacking the guards. So here we go. Uh oh. Two guards make this. It's gonna make this really awkward. Because I think we're attacking the guard on the right right now. Oh, we're not. Wow, he's got a lot of life. Let's do something I should have done earlier. I begin casting a few spells to help me. We 
lost almost half our hit points already. Just fighting two of these guards. Wow. 950 gold. Worth it immediately. We'll fight them one at a time. I don't really feel like having to do that again against two of them at once. That was really difficult. There we go. That's more like it. One at a time, guards, please. Two of you could actually hit me for 220 total before I kill you both. Shouldn't be surprised that the guards up here are tougher than the guards downstairs. Nice. Good work, Trimus. Keep killing them. You know, are, are we a bad guy because we do this? I mean, we're here to take the staff, which apparently was stolen from the castle and bought at the black market from the Baron here. A quartz key. Maybe we'll use some life elixir. And press on. Anything else around here? Okay, so we got the two treasure chests in this room. That quartz key will probably prove very useful for all the doors up here. Now we have to fight our way back. And out of here. Still not sure if this is the better way to do it, but it's how I've always done it. I guess we should use one laggard vapors. Oh, missing a lot today. Wow, missing a huge amount today. Let's use them. So we use our laggard vapors. The flumes drift away. See how he didn't move once? The laggard vapors are affecting all the guards now on the floor. They have a chance to not move during their turn. If we want to cast spells at them, we can take advantage of that. Maybe we should be doing that. It's 250 for a life elixir, but each spell is only 200. Hmm. Didn't think about that before. I do tend to think of most things in video games in terms of cost versus benefit. Let's cast a single Tongue of Flame. 22, it's not bad. I wonder if we soften every guard up with a single Tongue of Flame. If that will prove beneficial to us. Like how many life elixirs would that have cost us? Not these two at least. Normally in games like this, I always try to keep my life at max rather than letting it fall below like halfway. I don't do it here because I'm hoping to not spend as much money. We have so many guards to still kill, and since they only does only heal 250. Ooh, 30. Nice. Hit their chest. Gold. Very nice. This will pay for all the spells we're using and the life elixirs. Oh, holy crap. Silver coins as well. Wonderful. Probably end up putting that into, um, I guess, Psychic Protect. I didn't buy any dungeon spells with the money I've had. I've just worked on my our character in preparation for this ca citadel. Now, was that the only two things over here? We should, I want to triple check to make sure I didn't miss anything. That looks like the edge of the map. Yep. There's no secrets to my recollection in the castle this time. Maybe I'm incorrect, but I don't remember anything. Oh, can we rob what's th in these cabinets? Take, nothing to take. Okay, so no, we can't open those little cabinets up. We had like 10 guards down here, so this is gonna be a fight to get out of these, these inner chambers. 
can probably fight the guards right around where we currently are, though. Some silver coins. What are you guys holding on to silver I guess they're collector, collector items. Oh, something else is that before we use our attack abilities, the more we're using our glow tips as well. Hmm. It might actually be cheap, cheaper overall to soften up with a single spell first. Good work, Tremus. Keep keep doing it. Ooh, only eighteen. We need more points to play if you want to use it more consistently, I suppose. Or rather, for any real amount of damage. Nice. That was a good hit. About to say, I don't think that was all of them in here. Fight for your freedom. You know, I was always hopeful that they would remake this game series so long ago. Especially with modern computers. Just imagine what, what they could do for this. But then again, what would they make the combat like? Like, about like a Batman game? Like the Hand of Fate? Or would they make it like... Like, um... Like a Vermintide type of thing? An FPS? How exactly would they work it, do you think? Oop, another guard. I guess the Batman, like the Batman Arkham Asylum thing, or Hand of Fate, would probably be acceptable, especially given the amount of guards that you fight. How about dungeons? Oh, I guess maybe like Daggerfall is how they'd have to do it. Yeah, probably like Daggerfall. The dungeons would also have to have rooms in them these days. Back then, we were all absolutely fine. Or I guess maybe not all of us were. But I was absolutely fine with just tunnels filled with treasure chests. It reminds me of a board game I have. An electronic board game. Uh, I, what is it called? Where is it? Did I put it upstairs? In the attic? That looks like I did. I have this Dungeons and Dragons electronic game. Where it's you versus the game itself and possibly another player. And you're playing these two adventurers and you have to go into this dungeon to find, uh, well, the treasure chest guarded by a dragon. And it, it's played on this this weird looking board. It also takes, a, takes one of those square batteries. What is that? Is that a D battery, I think? Anyway... You, when you walk into where a wall would be, it makes a certain sound, and then you place this red plastic wall there to tell you, to remind yourself that there's a wall in the way. And the objective of it is basically find out where the dragon is, get him to leave his treasure, circle around where the dragon is to get the treasure, and then bring it back to your starting location. Actually, it's a surprisingly, uh, well, it was at the time at least, a surprisingly fun game. I, I really loved it. The idea of venturing in a 3D dungeon, especially. Oh, that guard had like 100 hit points. Oh, missed. Nothing there. So that's 27. Let's try to keep count how many hit points they have. 36. 48. 71. 61. So about 80 hit points. And the spell does at most like 35. Yeah, it's probably worth it. What was I mentioning? Oh, because all the treasure chests. Oh, and also how they would do tunnels. So it reminded me of how the dungeons might be reworked. Anything up in this corner? Nope. You know, I should remember the layout of this castle so I can make a Dwarven Forge dungeon out of it. Uh, if you're not going to move after us, we'll just you know, flame you to soften you up. 
Missed him. And you're gonna stand there? That's fine with me. I wonder how effective trying to play a mage, like a pure mage, would work in this game, where all you do is cast spells. And use a staff. That'd be quite difficult to get going in the very beginning. No, it wouldn't work, at least not in the very beginning of the game. Because your spells would fizzle so often. What do we have down here? Hello, sir. Who are you? I like the beard. I go by the name of Lomar the Loon. I can sell you a fine tattoo for 1,500 gold. Which would you like? Ah, I like the hawk tattoo, please. Now you have a hawk tattoo on your arm for all to see. Speak to him again. Does he have, does he have anything else for us? I, Lomar, already helped you. That will be useful for the Hawk Temple, because that will... It's not, the, it's not a statue like the other two were, but this should give us, I think, more strength or charisma this time around. Let's fight our way to the Elf. Fight our way to the Elf. We're not going to have as much... That was actually kind of expensive, but the stats are worth it. Stats are worth it. Can we beat you out in the hallway? Yes, we can. Look at the Lager Vapor slowing him down. Isn't that awesome? Let us reposition. You know what? We're going to cast another one of these. I don't want to deal with two guards. Especially if we're going to miss them pretty often. They're going to get kill all yeah. Those, if the guards at the castles actually realize that they're basically just cannon fodder, because if a single adventurer can come in here and slaughter them all, I don't know how. I don't know if they're worth the price that they paid for them. But to be fair, it did. I guess these guards and the and the teleporter did delay our arrival by about a year. Wonderful. We could use all the silver coins we can get our hands on. And hello, Elf. Let's use our quartz key. Avon the Elf. Can I have your black and iron keys? Yes. This quartz key will open all doors. Would you rather take 500 gold from me or give me 2,500 gold? I'll give you the money. I have prepared a test. How would you rather uh, would you rather rescue a royal princess or an elven baby? So I remember the answers to these questions. So I'll give you a few seconds to place your answer. Okay, and so I'm going to pick baby because a royal princess has many people probably trying to save her, but not many people would go out of their way to save a child. Would you rather slay a marauding dragon? or an incompetent baron. Uh, they're both very dangerous, but an incompetent baron, any of the laws he makes... Oh, I should have let you guys place your place your bets first. The baron uh, would be the better choice, I think, because while Marauding Dragon may terrorize the countryside and burn crops down, which could affect many, many people, uh, it could eventually be put down, and it's not as bad as a law, which many other people could interpret... Uh, certain ways and all the suffering it, that he could be causing his, his subjects. So, Baron. Would you rather give money to a hungry thief or a thirsty drunkard? A thief who's hungry has stopped stealing because he, he would otherwise be stealing food. A thirsty drunkard is just waiting for his next drink. We'll choose the thief. You are correct! A baby needs a champion. A princess has many. A dragon's foliables only hurt a few, unlike the mistakes of a baron. A hungry thief has stopped stealing. 
unlike a thirsty drunk. Your answers reveal a certain wisdom. I have chanced upon this signet ring, which I turn over to your capable hands. Good luck. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, all our money's gone for that signet ring. The signet ring is very important. We cannot, to my knowledge, beat the game without it. Uh, it would spoil it if I told you what the ring was actually used for. So we'll hold on to it right now. Just wonder what it is. A piano! Look at this piano! That is an amazing piano. Looks like we might be able to recover some of the life elixirs from this adventure. But afterwards, we I may go down back into the mines again to clear it out to get some more money. Suppose we could take our winnings and put them into the dragon wheel game and maybe be victorious that way. Like, I'm sorry, be victorious. Gain a lot of money that way. But it's a great way to lose all your money, too. And I won't reload losing money at Dragon Wheel. Because money is a bit grindy to get, but you can, you can get it without too much trouble. So I was starting to think of some criticism for this game, because while this game is ties probably for my number one spot ever, I could think of a few things which other people would find annoying. I suppose for the most part it is, it's kind of grindy I suppose, but I don't really feel that grind, because you're making progress like every hour something better has happened and you're, you feel stronger. Actually, to that end, did you realize this is like the ninth hour that we're currently in this game? Like, we've been playing it for like seven or nine hours or so. That's amazing! Especially for an old ancient Commodore game. Just how much gameplay was in this. Or at least how many hours of entertainment were in it. 210, not bad. Like, every treasure chest. We're fighting for every single one of these. It feels, feels fantastic. 200 more gold, that's awesome. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get 3,000? Oh, this is bad. We're gonna get sandwiched. We don't want that. Finish it! Wow, 46 damage. So that was a point-blank casting. Gotcha. Awesome. I see that treasure chest. We want all the chests we can get. You never know when another one might have a silver coin in it. And we're going to want all those to improve our spells. 230 gold. And yeah, I think this time I might not even take Nimble Step. It's not like my maps don't have the traps written on them. Hmm. Let's go ahead and open this up. I said whether... Oh, there's a treasure chest all the way up here, Tim. What's some other criticism about the game I can think of? So, I mean... Well, I mean, there, are, there will be different creatures as well. We haven't seen the very final creatures in the bottom of the dungeons, because we haven't had a dungeon which goes beyond level uh, 6 so far. I think the last dungeon, the next dungeon, assuming we do the an actual different dungeon... will have some new creatures at the very bottom of it. There's also, by the way, another type of citadel, significantly tougher than the one we're in at the moment. Much tougher, in fact. I'm always very nervous doing that citadel, given how difficult it is. Oh, you're not, you're not close enough, guard. At least not to with my weapon. See on your toes. Almost killed all of them. Uh, we can kill these three really quickly, I hope. 
Let's cast some spells. Nice, good solid hit points. I think this is the last guard outside the, the king's chamber. All right, let's go ahead and get in there. Quartz key. It looks like we're going to have to fight two guards at once. Oh, wonderful. They'll actually go leave the room. The one guard trapped behind the torch. Is, I guess they're not the brightest in the kingdom. But it doesn't matter if they can keep the hero out for a little bit longer. Oh, what the heck? Oh, a little too south to hit him. You can't swing diagonal, by the way, which is why we were taking hits and he was not. We'll use some more life elixir. We've used close, I think, six of them so far. This is going to be an expensive run. And we've used quite a few tongues of flame here. Just barely be able to recoup the cost of doing this. Step up. Darn you. It's like a flame south. As long as the other oh guard stays there, we're not in that much danger. Always, always try to choke point your enemies. You do not want to have to deal with two guards at the same time. And you must use spells to soften them up. And when I kill your last guard, I'm going to do it. Almost gotcha. Okay, Mr. Mandrake. Hello there. Examine. Lex to Lord Man oh, Mantrek. Spare me, and I shall give you the staff. Very well. He teleported us. But we have the staff. Oh, we seem to be stuck. However, the staff does have a lot of power. And he's gone. All right, so much for the Citadel, everyone. We are done with this. We do have the mage. So we got to come up with 3,000 gold. Maybe we'll redo... I will redo the mines off screen. That's a teleport sound I, I missed so much. Oh, we have to take this the way out. Okay, no problem. It's a bit awkward, though, game, that you make me <laughs> wait on the way out as well. I have plenty of patience, though, so I guess we'll be okay. I'm glad at least these don't shift. Like, they don't constantly change. Uh, that'd be more akin to playing, um, I want to be the guy. Almost out. Ooh, that was close, Tim. Darn you. Come on, you can do it, Floor. I don't want to find out what happens if, if I don't do this. One more spot. I have to say, Lord Mantrek, this, this is just annoying. Actually, it's not really even annoying. It's just patience which we have plenty of. Now the guards down here I think will also be active and angry at us. 
Yes. Yeah, they are not happy. Word has gotten out as to what we have done. Let's use our quartz key. But these guards will be easier than the guards we just left. Even though there'll be quite a few of them on our way out. We shouldn't have to use any spells here. I also don't think the lighter vapors are in effect any longer. They were only in the floor upstairs. Oh, nope, I lied. That guard was totally affected by them. So I suppose it covers a full trip into one a place like this. So my plan after this will be to go back to Owl Temple. Oh, we should actually go to Hawk Temple. Get healed. Show the tattoo to the seeker. And then do the endurance game, and then we'll call the session, I think. Might as well kill this guy too. He's looking at me funny. Oh, a treasure chest came back. Um no, we'll be fine for the rest of the trip. Number 10. We need to spend money first, though, on the life elixirs, because I believe we'll have leveled up after we get the staff, and we do not want that to spend... I think it's going to be 350? So I think our maxi points go to 700 next. Alright, guys, you're, you're going you're gonna to bite it. There's going to be a handful of guards left, but we can just run outside, I think. Yep, he's not going to be able to catch us. Ha-ha! Okay, let's save the game. And then we're out of here. And we left our boat nearby. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, I hope the game saved. Hope we didn't get corrupted, or this is going to be a really sh short series of games then. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, it did, it did save successfully. All right, maybe I just didn't put the right disc in. Let's put our climbing gear back on and get the heck out of here. Let's flee them. Water creatures can be a little dangerous. Well, I don't think they they kill me. I don't want to really risk it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get healed. Then buy some elixirs. And if we have enough money, we can play the rock game. We should also spend those coins we we have on other spells to increase them. Uh, what do you think I think? I'm thinking three, uh, probably 290? 221. No, we don't need those archives opened yet. We don't have any gems which will interact with anything down there. Um, right, we want the, the healing stuff. Where is the life elixirs here? Your crystal ring glows. Wonderful. Hello, sir. Lots of magic rings in this world. Five, and how many are we down? One more? We'll be okay. Let's see how much it is to play the rock. I'm sleepy, but we're going to play the rock game anyway, I think. Let's do it. 
Here we go. All right, time to drop these coins off. Okay, it starts out easy enough. Oh, uh, I missed that. I am, I am tired. That's bad, Tim. You shouldn't be playing a game that increases or decreases your stats while sleepy. Oh, hello. Two more coins. I want both of those. Careful of the blades. They will insta-kill you. Don't get distracted, Tim. All those coins, if I could get them. I don't think so. Not today, rocks. A long first round. I'm dropping them all off. I think we had like a hundred something. Was it was it more like eighty? I don't remember. I'm getting really slowed down. Oh. It's out of time. Can we get one more coin in? Just that one. Not bad. 22. 27 for the first round. If we can do that another four times, that would be fantastic. Actually, we want even more coins than just 22, obviously. Let's do it. Bring it. The coins are all the way over there. Ah, that sucked, Tim. We take a hit. You're taking a hit already. You don't want to end up with less endurance. That would that would stink. It's gonna get tougher and tougher, Tim. You're being slowed down. Uh oh, we're really slow now. That really worked out for us, though. That was really risky, Tim. Careful of the rocks. You can't get hit multiple times, by the way. There's no grace period in between hits, so you want to be quick. Nice, 53. We had 27, so I would expect 54. All right, 57, so we're doing slightly, uh, we're doing about average so far for me, at least. Two more, uh, three more rounds of this. A lot of rocks. I want that one. All right, that's good enough. Let's try dropping these off. Don't even be near the blades. Oh, it sucks. No coins are around. Actually, that's a that's something I didn't think about before. So like, it's not even about endurance. It's about how many coins you bring back. It's about how it's, yeah, this is about agility, not not endurance, but whatever. Maybe they just want to be entertained. And then the wizards of the, of the school. Ooh, that was really close, Tim. The wizards will give you um, an endurance potion or something for entertaining them with this horrid test. 78, that's a little worse. We should have had over 80 there. I gotta be more greedy. Gotta be more greedy, I say. As I avoid all the coins. Grab, snatch that one. Grab, snatch that one. Am I a skaven? <laughs> oh, I missed that one coin. I was too busy worrying about getting a hit in the head. Getting a hit in the head? Uh, that's what we're calling it. I can grab that. This one. Get off and move away. Oh, I missed both of them. Feels like I'm playing the dexterity game. Nowhere near the other. Whoa, Tim, that was really close. Oh, I'm not getting any coins this time around. That's going to suck. You might be able to get this coin in. No, not going to happen. 99. All right, I think we had like 120 last time, so we have to get really good at this at this last stage here to increase our debt, our endurance back up to 39. Or whatever it was. Let's do it. Let's do it. Starting off on the wrong side, Tim. Gotta drop this coin these coins off all the way over there. Oh, wonderful. We get these two as well. Close off. Don't get distracted, Tim. Don't get distracted. 
attention to where the coins are dropping. That was really stupidly close. We'll grab these two. Get these two as well. Drop these coins off. There's no bonus for getting more of them. No, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna get the 20. Woo! Oh, we did! Yeah! 120! 124! And... Oh, we lost a point?! <laughs> Alright, I can do this off-screen then. Um, I'll do it off-screen, so... No. That sucked! I did worse?! Oh man, that's embarrassing. All right, well, let's show our tattoo. I can save the game again, do it off screen. So let's do this. You come with the sign of the hawk. My life destiny is over. Perhaps we will meet in another plane. For now, check your attributes to see my gift. Oh, it wasn't strength, he gave us charisma. Okay, I, I did think it was charisma. We have four silver coins, let's spend them as well. Take Tongue of Flame. Oh, yes, we do. Actually, no. No, we, we don't. We want to buy the spells first. So we'll stop here, everybody. When we come back, I guess I'll be at the castle, and I'll be leveling up. I will see you guys then. Take care, everyone.